And there are some other items in the bill as well that people don't like. But the main frustration on the part of the opponents of this bill is because people don't like the way that we are going about trying to end our military participation in a Iraqi civil war. Let me submit to you, the problem we have today <clears throat> is not that we didn't listen enough to people like the Washington Post, it's that we listened too much. They endorsed going to war in the first place. They drive the drumbeat that drove almost two-thirds of the people in this chamber to vote for that misbegotten, stupid, ill-advised war that has destroyed our influence over, over a third of the world. So I make no apology if the moral sensibilities of some people on this floor or the editorial writers of the Washington Post are offended because they don't like the specific language contained in our benchmarks or in our timelines. What matters in the end is not what the specific language is. What matters is whether or not we produce a product today that puts pressure on this administration and sends a message to Iraq, to the Iraqi politicians, that we're going to end the permanent long-term dead-end babysitting service. That's what we're trying to do. And if the Washington Post is offended about the way we do it, that's just too bad.